Thanks again for watching our channel. Today we're going to speak about the third series of Suri no Hijo. This series actually completes the, the, the whole kete and it's a Bato Jutsu kete. It is important to recall that the Bato Jutsu kete in ancient times was the last step of sword art that was studied in the dojo. So first, the students start uh, with Genjutsu, then they study Yajutsu, and finally, when they have mastered the use of the sword, they start with Bato Jutsu. It is said that the Bato Jutsu was trained and the test was done using real swords, Shinken. So it is really important to understand that all the cuts that we're going to use and the new key that we're going to use are uh, for defense and actually means to cut in every step of the of the kata. Uh, the kata that we're going to study today is called furibayash. Furi comes again from vibrate and bayash comes from uh, forest. So it's uh, to make vibrates in the, the forest. Uh, this kata has a very particular uh, interpretation that we are going to to see today uh, using the help of a uh, which is Rebecca, which is uh, going to, to help me in the explanation of this kata. Uh, for example, in, in the first kata, she's going to wrap me in front. Okay, she's going to use force, it's going to grab me, and then I'm going to use my sword. As I don't have enough room to make the nuki, I'm going to uh, unleash my, my sword in this position. So I have room to do it. Then with the hat, I'm going to cut, and then cut, and finally do the the cut. Um, another example, for example, the third one. She's going to grab me from okay, from the leaf, and then she's going to strangle me. Okay. Now, when she's going to do that, I'm going to generate a space. And then I'm going to force her to go out. And another example of the application of this series is, for example, when she's tried to grab me from my hip. She's tried to grab. Me. Then I'm going to use the torsion, the rotation of my body, to make her unstable and release the grab. So, in this case, I'm going to release sword using the torsion or the inertia of my hips to make it away and then cut. And finally, closing this, this, this series of three videos, uh, if you have seen the previous two, you will probably have uh, seen a very particular way to execute the shibori. Uh, you have seen in the first video this kind of shibori, then on the second one, you have seen this kind of shibori. You will ask, why is the shibori uh, being executed that way? It is said that Suirin no Heiho, which is the complete series of three kata that we are explaining during this Tokyo Betsu series, was developed by a sensei called Teru Arima. Teru Arima was a sword master that was handless. He, he has not the left hand, so when uh, the, the kata was, was designed, it was meant to make the shiburi in this way. This shiburi is called Tate Ushi Shiburi and is a very characteristic uh, example of how the anthropological uh, origins of, of our katas are developed and are actually kept and studied within our tradition.